Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Now before I continue, I have to say an apology. I'm sorry to the entire Pokemon population. I should not have called you dumb. Uh, that was very offensive of me, and I apologize. That said, let's play this stupid Pokemon game. Let's go! Let's go! Like and subscribe! <laughs> like and subscribe! Hey look! Hey look, that's what you should do. I'm looking at my levels, and I'm like peeking the mic. Let's turn that down a bit. Like and subscribe began their careers together as a rescue team. So you may have noticed that the layout got a buff. Uh, it turns out that Squirtle and Pikachu are in an official image uh, for this game. Which works out really well, because that's our team. So I just kind of, you know, put it on the side. It's a high quality layout. Now there's no black bars on the side. I'm still the same. The way I look, I'm still Squirtle. But why would I be transformed into a Pokemon? Hmm, thinking emote. Guys, post thinking emotes in the chat right now. That way I'll know that you made it a minute and 16 seconds into this video. Oh, we're going back to sleep? Bro, me IRL? Relatable moment? I too sleep too much. Dot, dot, dot. Ooh! <gasps> Roblox reference? If you guys want me to play Roblox, comment down below. I'll play Roblox. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. I wonder what subscribe is doing. Yeah, let's go check out that red button below my video that you should click. Has this joke gotten old yet? Because it's about to get real old by the time we're done with this playthrough. Oh man, he fell asleep outside my house. Haha, -ha, he must be homeless. Where does the Pokemon sleep? Haha, -ha, why why does he have this house? I don't know. I honestly our house could be pretty dope. Like, if we got rid of that bridge in the front, like Pikachu could electrically charge the water. We could like you know, be protected. In a siege or something, you know? You know hey, hmm, hmm? If you agree, like the video? Oh, we got a toolbox. The toolbox in this game kind of blows, though. It only has two pages and it never gets upgraded. And Explorers of Sky it goes up to like, what, six or seven pages? In this game, you got two pages of items and that's it. Flap, flap. It's your boy Pelipper! He's here! Can we just talk about how Pelipper was like... a non-threat in Pokémon? And then they just gave it Drizzle? And now it's everywhere? That- that was a thing that happened. But this is Gen 3, so it's bad. The thing it's known for in this gen is spamming Protect on all the stupid trainers' teams in Gen 3. So, uh... The thing with PMD1 is the pacing is not the best. <laughs> As you can see, we're already just kind of like taking out another random job out of nowhere. Eh, look, I love this game, but it's no Mystery Dungeon 2. But, uh, you know, we're in Thunder Wave Cave. The music's banging. We got an apple. It's gonna be very useful. As a kid, I was really bad at this game, as I think most kids were, because some of the mechanics are kind of confusing for, you know, the youngins. Um, but yeah, I would, like, never bring enough apples. And I would starve to death all the time. And now I can't remember the last time I starved to death in a Mystery Dungeon game. If you're, like, playing the game well, you should never starve to death. Unless you get really screwed over by traps, I guess. There's some really annoying traps in, like, post-game that can screw over your items. Then I guess it's an issue, but... I've been pretty lucky. I guess there's also, like, the dungeons where you have... I keep pressing Y to turn my character. The muscle memory. Yeah, so I've played... this mystery dungeon, red and blue, probably about, like, six or seven times. Which, I mean, I know that sounds like a lot, but for me, that's like nothing. I played Mystery Dungeon 2 like a zillion times. So I'm a lot more familiar with that game. But you know, this game's not so different. 
The crazy thing about Mystery Dungeon is there is so much to these games. Like, I'm learning new stuff about this series, like, every day lately, it feels like. If you, if you can tell, I've been on a Mystery Dungeon kick. That's why I'm playing this game. But, uh, yeah, I learned that in Sky, you, I already knew you could find bottles on the beach. But some of them have, like, special missions that, like, go to treasure rooms. And I've never seen it happen once. But it's a thing that can happen. So Thunder Wave Cave, I believe, is only five floors. Which is the size of the first dungeon in two. It's, it's very small. Also, you'd expect there to be a lot of electric types, which, I mean, there are. But they're really not an issue at this point in the game. Look at that, 49 damage. Incredible. Money, 58. That's pretty good for this point in the game. Um, I'm probably going to want to level up a bit more. So the thing about Mystery Dungeon 1 is the main story is really not that long. I finished the story at, like, level 21 before. And... That's great and all, but the, the post-game really starts ramping things up. And if you're level 21 at that point, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> you're not screwed, but... I'd like to be at least, like, you know, 36, so I can be a Blastoise. That'd be cool. Pikachu is going to level up really fast, though. Unfortunately, it's a stone evolution, so we'll have to find a Thunderstone. Which isn't actually that hard. The dungeon where you get Raikou in the post game is like filled with Thunderstones, so uh, you just kind of gotta get to that point, and then you just farm Thunderstones there. From what I remember, at least, um, yeah, when I played this game earlier this year, I believe that was the case. But again, I'm not as knowledgeable on this one, so I probably get things wrong. We got some orange berries, which are... What do you mean the set move can't be used? It's not like I've been spamming it the entire time. Hit him with a tank, clip tank. Wow. That was, uh... That was stupid. So I think we have both pages of the toolbox from the start, right? I guess I can check now. Yeah, Team Toolbox A and B. I don't think it goes any higher than that. Uh, Alright, let's not finish the dungeon yet. I want to get to level 9, I think. Probably good. Kill some bolt orbs. There we go, level 9, nice. Yeah, I mean, we got bubbles, so we're kind of just set for now. Another bolt orb. Hey, hey guys, um... Did you know Voltorb is supposed to look like a Pokeball? Fun fact. I bet you didn't know that. If you didn't know that, like the video. Oh, it's a Magnemite and a Magnemite. They're stuck together. Our bodies separated. Rejoice. Yay. Yay. Be thankful you do. You are our hero, thank you. $500! Reviver Seed! And a Rossberry. Wow, we're really good at this game. Man, I'm only eight minutes into this video. Um... <laughs> I was gonna do one dungeon a video. But I should probably keep playing at this point. That did not take long at all. Uh-oh, I'm sleeping. You know what that means. Trippy dream sequence time. Where am I? What am I fighting for? Who are you? It's Gardevoir, everyone's favorite Pokemon. But not for the reasons you'd hope. Get it? Because, anyway. Let's go to the mailbox. Y'all ever watch Blue's Clues? Mailbox best character? I don't know, tickety tick clock's pretty tough. <laughs> I wonder I wonder how much Blue's Clues lore there. Does he ever think about that? Like, as a as someone who grew up watching a ton of Blues Clues, I'm curious what the like Blue's Clues fan base of 2020 looks like. 
Like, does that exist? Do they make, like, crazy fan theories about, like, the characters? I want to know now. This is going to bug me. Anyway, this is the town. <laughs> you can do cool stuff, like manage items and put your money in the bank and buy stuff and all the other nonsense that you'd hope would be in a video game. Let's see what TMs we can buy. Can you buy... Oh, there's only... Uh, Escape Orb is nice. But I'm good at the game, so I don't need it. Uh... Oh, Big Apple. Oh, wow. Survivor Seeds already? Alright. Well, we'll buy a Big Apple. Uh... I don't know. Actually, let's sell. Uh... Cherry Berry. We don't... Is there a way to select multiple items in this version to sell? Uh, that's sort. That's check status. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, which is kind of annoying. But alright. We'll just sell them on my own. I kind of want to get one of those Reviver Seeds. Because it's better to have those now than later. Sleep Seeds are like nice for bosses, but I'm sure we'll find more. For now, I'd rather just buy the Reviver Seed. This should be enough? Yeah, this is enough. I can do math. Buy Reviver Seed. We have six Poke left. Let's go give it to Persian. Our generous six Poke. Although, I guess I'm gonna... I probably shouldn't be spending all my money. Because you need a lot of money for the friend areas. Uh, you know... Pardon? Oh, the Pelipper Post Office? The Pelipper Post Office would be straight down this path. Wait, let's go see Whiskhead. Shout out, shout outs to my boy Dylan. It, it's Whiskhead. I've heard fissures have opened up in the ground here and there. They're trouble for everyone. It worries me to know one thing and that children will fall down into them. Yeah, he's cool. Hey, you want to see my, uh, my tech skill? Look at this. Look at this shimmy. Uh, is Makuhita Dojo open yet? Uh, no. Darn. I was gonna level grind to level 100 in the first area. That'd be great, right? Would you guys all wanna wanna watch me do like 500 parts of leveling up in the Makuhita Dojo to level 100? If you would, too bad. I'm not doing it. I don't hate myself. Okay, maybe I do hate myself. But not in that, but not, you know, not that much. Aw, yeah, we get some nice jobs. Look at all these interesting jobs. Let's just do all the Thunder Wave Cave ones. Uh, yeah, let's see. Get a Max Elixir, 100 Poke plus question mark. Nice. Uh, in the remake, they added a way to, like, quick travel between the bulletin board and your base. Which was really nice, because in this game it sucks. You gotta walk through the entire town to get there. Uh, I guess I'll I'll end the video after I do the mission. But I gotta find something to talk about, because Thunder Wave Cave is not exactly a, an interesting dungeon. Let's think of a, I'm gonna think of a topic right now. Let's talk about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Uh, it's a game. You play as a Pokemon. You go through dungeons. It's great. I like it. It's cool. Uh, <laughs> that that was my only conversational. No, I, I love this game. It's great. Uh, I I got the original as a kid, and I liked it. But it wasn't until Mystery Dungeon 2 came out that game. I instantly fell in love with it. The, like, the story and the characters were unlike anything I'd played at that point. Because, I mean, up to that point, I really hadn't played a game with, like, a real story to it. But Mystery Dungeon, it, like, had an actual story. It was crazy, man. Alright, floors 3, 4, and 5. You've reached the destination floor. We're getting all kinds of good- oh, and we don't have- oh wait, subscribe picked up the app. Nice. Yeah, I forgot their held item doesn't count. 
towards the bag count. <gasps> it's a sun curve. One of the Poke Gods. One of the strongest Pokemon ever created. Arceus who? Uh, let's not leave. I think Arceus wasn't even available in the Mystery Dungeon series until, what, Super Mystery Dungeon? Because he wasn't in 2, despite it being a Gen 4 game. The only way he makes an appearance is as a statue at the top of Destiny Tower. Uh, my guess is he wasn't quite officially revealed yet, but... They snuck him in anyway. Because they put Shaman in Sky. I think when the original Mystery Dungeon 2, Time and Darkness, came out, uh, that must have been Darkrai had already been shown off, the movie, and whatever. But not Shaman. Something like that. See, Pikachu's already level 11, which is kind of insane. For whatever reason, it levels up, like, way faster than the other Pokemon. It's not quite as broken. Like, I know I said it was broken. It's honestly not as broken as it is in later games. Because in later games, it gets Discharge. Discharge is just amazing. It's a, it's a room clear. It's, it's pretty broken. But even in this game, I mean, it's still good. It starts with Thundershock. It levels up really fast. Thunderbolt's kind of cool. I believe it hits everything around you. Which is nice. Uh, Thunder Wave's a good utility move. And, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Electric's obviously a good type. It's a, it only has one weakness. Thankfully, Earth Power isn't in this game. Because in Mystery Dungeon 2, Earth Power is a nightmare to deal with. Any dungeon that's got Nitto Queen or Nitto King at, like, higher levels, they, they always have Earth Power. And it's obnoxious. If you're a Fire type or an Electric type, you just get bodied. Or, uh, I'm playing as, I was playing as Piplup in my recent playthrough, so I evolved into Empoleon. And, you know, that also made me weak to Earth Power, which is just lovely. If you're wondering why I'm killing everything with a move instead of just using my regular attack, it's because you actually get more experience if you kill Pokemon with a move. And I want that EXP, dang it. Alright, we've done it. We've beaten all the missions. Let's go grab our rewards. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ba! Thanks for rescuing me. Here's your award, the promised Max Elixir. Aw, oh, yeah. Five points. <gasps> Five points? Guys, subscribe to my Twitch channel. I'll link it in the description. Uh, except that you can't subscribe yet, which is why you should follow, so that I can unlock subscription. $100. Guys, we can buy so many Yu-Gi-Oh cards with that. And here's the other sun curve. Rescue team and gained five rescue points. Great. I love it. Let's call it a night and get some rest. Save my game? Heck yeah. All right, that's it for today. Uh, Come back next time if I make a next video. <laughs> hey, I made it to episode two. This is already, like, a record for the channel. So, uh... You better subscribe for that one, am I right, gamers? <laughs>